Hey guys, hope you're all doing really, really well. So welcome to today's reading. This is going to be a general check-in for the collective for divine soulmate connections, could be twin soul, twin flame connections. So we will be looking both at the masculine as well as the feminine energies. And as always, it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, okay? It can't resonate every single time. Um, but that's okay if you want to book a personal reading all that information is in the description box And I also do have a discount going on right now for ten dollars off of my, Well, my readings are very affordable to begin with but there's an additional ten dollars off of the basic and the extended reading Okay, so they are um, the basic is 30 minutes and the extended is about 45 minutes sometimes an hour depending all right, and yeah, that's for um, reaching 10,000 subscribers so thank you guys so so much for all of your support and this offer is until the 20th of November all right so let's get started let's see what is going on we're gonna get ooh, we're gonna get some Oracle cards to get this reading started starting with the masculine so let's see what's going on All right, and we have number one, all right, that is, unfortunately, it's denial. Um, okay, so the masculine, I mean, this is temporary, okay? This is just what's going on during this um, time period. It seems like they are in a bit of a denial. We are gonna clarify that. But let's get one for the feminines while we're at it. All right, and we have number eight. Oh, I can't remember which one this is now. Just give me one second. I usually remember these, but just a sec. Okay, it's motivation. All right, so there's an issue here with the um, with the feminine's motivation. I'm kind of getting a double message here. I feel like for some of you, you're feeling very motivated, um, just overall in your in your life, feeling like whatever it is that's happening in this connection, it's happening because it is meant to happen in this way, and you're feeling motivated to just go after your goals, go after your you know, whatever it is that you are or have been trying to focus on. And then for others of you, I'm getting that you were in a state of motivation or having faith, you know, feeling like everything's going to work out the way that it should. And then that kind of got crushed a little bit and you feel like it's taken you back. So we are going to clarify these, as I said, but let's just get a couple more. Let's get a couple more for the masculines and a couple more for the feminines and get into the details. Let's see for the masculines. Ooh, okay, we have conclusion and we have barrier. Okay, I see. All right, so for some of these masculines, there's what they're actually in denial of is, is um, the fact that this is over. A conclusion to, to the connection. Because for whatever reason, it's feeling like there is some kind of a conclusion or some kind of an ending to the connection between the masculine and the feminine. So it could be that the feminine has walked away, for example. Um, but this masculine is in denial about something ending between the two of you. They just don't want to believe that. And that's why we also have a barrier here. Not allowing that to happen. All right, that's interesting. Um, I still don't, I don't feel like they're really showing this to you. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Really depends on the situation, but let's see. Let's see for the feminines. All right, we have recognition and karmic partner. Okay, so this is interesting because earlier this week I did do a reading for feminines and their karmic situations. Okay, so for those of you who are in karmic relationships or in some kind of a karmic situation, which could even be work, family, okay, career, whatever. Um, so if you feel like you're in that situation, you might wanna check out that reading if you haven't. Um, so what I'm getting here though is that for the feminines, okay, this is going to be different for each of you, but for some of you, the main message I'm getting here is that there may have been somebody else who has presented themselves 
into your life and this person is a karmic partner, that does not mean that it's bad. I, I don't know why there's this, like, um, it, it feels like it, within a lot of readings or within the community, there's this, like, negative feeling associated with the word karmic partner. And it's not that. It's not that it's negative. It's there for a reason. There's karma there, right? Um, and things need to play out in order for there to be some kind of a balance and in order for certain lessons to be learned. But what I'm getting here is that for those of you where there is someone else who has presented themselves to you in your life that you might be dealing with, it's like part of that part of that lesson is that it's helping you to recognize the difference. Not that you didn't already know, but it's helping you to understand more about a divine soulmate connection and more about other types of connections in some way. So it's actually, it goes deeper than that because it's helping you to understand and to see certain things within the soul, the divine soulmate connection, maybe certain things that were bothering you or annoying to you. It's like it, in some way through this other karmic partner, you are gaining a deeper insight about your connection with your divine masculine. Okay, so very interesting. For others of you, this doesn't have to be um, a romantic partner or a romantic person. It could be just about anybody who has come into your life and in some way you're going to feel it that it is helping you to recognize something about about your connection with your divine masculine. And then again, you know, for some of you this could even be what is affecting your motivation in whatever way. So let's get into the tarot. So let's see for the masculines. All right, so for the masculines, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, they're, um, they're in denial when it comes to you to you not being there. Um, I don't know what has happened between the two of you. I really feel like for this particular group, the, the Divine Feminine has kind of closed the door um, on the masculine, and the masculine is, is like, nope, nope, I am not, I am not believing that. They don't want to believe that. I, there's, I'm also picking up on a sense of fear about it, but it's also like, no, I, I cannot allow myself to believe that I'm, that this is going to be done for good, all right? We have the Two of Cups here. That's them really feeling this, the love, the connection, the emotions, all of that. And at the same time, I do see them holding back though. So it's kind of like what I said in the beginning that I don't really feel like for the most part that they are telling you this or showing, showing this to you. So let's actually, let me get one more row here for what they're thinking and feeling about you or just anything that wants to come through. All right, the Magician in reverse, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're, they're feeling like they can't do anything about it. There is this fear of you um, possibly moving on and of being getting involved with somebody else. There's there's definitely that, fe that fear here. They see you as, you know, like this Knight of Wands, basically just, you know, being, just being free and, and, you know, being passionate and possibly just exploring other, other connections. And I feel like they're not really happy about that at all. It's giving them this sense of defeat, like they have no sense of control over it and that there's nothing that they can do about that. But at the same time, as I said, in denial about this being the end, about this being done. It's like a, um, it, it's really interesting the way it, it, it's feeling. It's like a passive denial, like nope, nope, it can't be this. Yeah, I'm not doing anything about it, but no, 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 I refuse to believe it. But that's superficial. 
right? And it's superficial, but it's also, it's like ego. Kind of like not wanting to believe something that is so unpleasant or feels so uncomfortable. Um, but it's, this is also at a deeper level, their intuition, knowing that really it's not a hundred percent over because the connection will always be there. Even if you decide as a feminine to end this, the connection will still be there. So there is a part of them that is picking up on that aspect as well. All right. So let's see what is going on here with the feminines. Get a little bit more information. All right, we have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, I feel like you are you are very curious. Um, at the moment, I feel like you're just being open, just overall. Um, I feel like even though you may have, you may have brought some kind of a conclusion or some kind of ending of a cycle to the connection with the masculine, I feel like you are still open to it, but for those of you who, where there is another person here that's come into your life, you're open to that as well, or at least you're kind of curious about it. Not going 100% in is what I'm getting, um, especially with that Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're taking it slow and you're just kind of waiting, just kind of slowly giving to that situation to see where, where it's going to lead to. And I feel like what's kind of challenging here for you is, is that you feel like you're kind of juggling both energies, both your masculine's energy as well as whatever new is presenting itself to you. And just kind of trying to make sense out of, out of it all. And because it feels like it's kind of difficult to find that balance, I feel like that's why you're just kind of taking it slow, you know, giving a little bit of energy to that and just waiting to see how it's going to unfold basically. And I think that's pretty much all you can do. There's no need to force anything. There's no need to be, um, to rush anything. All right, so let's get one more row for the feminines. All right, the six of cups, the world in reverse and the 10 of pentacles. Okay, so this is how you're thinking and feeling about your masculine. So I feel like on a very deep level, like you still either miss the past or you would still want a reconciliation deep down. Like it's it's still not 100% over for you, even if you kind of feel that, um, at least for this group, okay? And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. It might not be your reading or just, you know, just take what resonates. Um, I mean, because the world is in reverse. So it's not 100% over. It's not 100% over. Um, you still want, it's like you still want this connection, but you also want something that will be able to manifest in the 3D. You want something that's going to be consistent, um, stable, long-term, comfortable. And for the most part, you haven't gotten that from the masculine. And you would still want that with your masculine, but since it's not there, I feel like you're kind of, that's why you are open to something else. So let's clarify a couple of these. And I'm trying to keep this one a little bit shorter this time because I do plan on posting more um, readings. So hopefully we'll be able to tap into more specific groups. And hopefully you'll be able to tell from the title if it's, if it's your situation or not. So you know which one to watch. But let's see. Um, so for the masculines, let's clarify this top row. All right, we have the moon in reverse and we have the nine of pentacles. Hmm. Again, there's a, I feel like there's a fear here that you are going to be, um, pretty much detached from them to the point where, you know, they're, they're, they have this fear of losing you, as I said before. 
that fear is coming up to the surface. They're they're understanding that fear. And and also because that fear is coming to the surface, that's why they're just like, no, 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 like that that can't happen. It's like in denial of you walking away, basically. All right, let's see this bottom one. It's like they just have this tendency to want to keep things, to keep the connection at least, to keep the connection alive, even if you're even if you're not in communication. That's how they're feeling. They they want things to stay. They don't want there to be a shift in this two of cups in the love. That is creating a lot of fear for them. All right, so for this bottom row, we have the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Ooh, the masculine is wanting to talk. There's this drive of wanting to communicate very, very strongly here. Let me get one more. They're very curious as to what is going on with you and if there is somebody else here. We have death. Um, I was meaning to clarify the, the Five of Swords. And this may or may not have been in reverse. But yeah, there's this fear again. It's, it's just confirming again the same thing. There's a fear of this being done, a denial of it being done, feeling defeated, feeling like they can't do anything about what is going on in your life. It's like... Um, it's like for the first time, this particular masculine is beginning to understand or to feel what it feels like to not be able to control the situation, which is kind of like what the feminine has been feeling in the past. You know, wanting to control, wanting things to be a certain way, not understanding why the masculine is not doing A, B, and C. Um, you know, trying to get things to happen <laughs> in that way, A, B, and C, and it not happening, not having control and learning that lesson. And it's like the masculine now is feeling that, feeling that loss of control. Not being able to do anything about it. And this is um, getting them to feel very, very like, um, what's the word? Wanting to do something, but understanding that they, that they can't. They can't do anything when it comes to you. Whatever they do, it has to do for their own self. They can only control their own self and what situation they are in and to work on their own selves. And that will be the way, you know, to bring this um, union to be. Because that is what they want. Really interesting stuff coming through this time. Okay, so let's see for the feminines. What do we need to clarify here? All right, let's just get one for that top row. All right, and we have the chariot in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're, again, this is you trying to, you know, hit the brakes a little bit when it comes to moving forward. Um, and for some of you, if there isn't somebody that has actually showed up, it, it could just be your thoughts around that, like just your, the way you're thinking about possibly meeting somebody else. And so, yeah, you're, like I said, you're open to it. Right, but with the chariot being in reverse, you're you're kind of hitting the brakes. You're trying to prolong it. It's like not going all the way in. Let's see this bottom row. All the king of cups in reverse. Yeah, I don't know how aware you are of this, but I feel like emotionally. Um, you're not very stable. There might be a little bit of back and forth when it comes to your emotions concerning the masculine. You know, like on the one hand, being completely okay with, you know, um, moving forward. And that could be what this motivation card is, is all about. You know, feeling motivated to move forward away from this connection, um, knowing that what will be will be and that, you know, that's what is meant for now. And, and then, you know, feeling very unmotivated, not wanting to move forward feeling stuck. So I feel like that's what this King of um, Cups is here is, you know, just your emotional state being a little bit inconsistent. Let me get one more. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, you are, you are though being authentic. You are moving in the direction of your truth. Okay. Because you're holding on to the, um, 
to the belief and to the value of wanting that ten of pentacles, wanting commitment, not wanting to settle for anything less. And that's why you are open to something else. So that's actually a good indication for you. It, I'm not saying that somebody who is completely closed off to other connections, that there's anything wrong with that at all. I'm not saying that at all, okay? Because really what's important is the driving force of a particular motivation or of a desire, okay? So some of you might not want to be open to anything else, as long as that's coming from a place of um, not being attached to your masculine, you know, then that's completely okay. Just like being open to something else, it can be healthy, again, if it's coming from a place of not being attached and, you know, having a healthy balance between your ego and, and yourself. Because, of course, there, it could also go the other way. Like somebody could be open to another partner only as like a rebound or only as a means of, you know, satisfying the ego or as a defense mechanism. In that case, it would be unhealthy, okay? So it doesn't matter. This is what I'm trying to get at. The point is that it doesn't matter whether you are open or not to another person. That's not what's going to determine whether you are on a good, healthy path for your own self and if you are in alignment. It's the driving force beneath that 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 is um, important okay so I hope that made sense um, yeah so I feel like that is what is going on and I feel like you, just the message for the feminine is to you know continue being in your truth I feel like your emotions will stabilize okay um, slowly but surely okay you are moving in the right direction just always be aware of what is driving you, okay? Like what, if you are open to something else, if you are engaging in certain behaviors, you know, ask yourself why, like look deep. Why am I doing this? What is it giving to me? How is it making me feel? What am I just trying to cover up, you know, some kind of an empty space within me? Or, you know, am I really doing this from a place of love and alignment within myself? All right, and for the masculines, um, yeah, let's get, I'll, I'll just get a couple more for the mask ones to see what this is going towards because they're, they're in a bit of a, um, what's the word, <laughs> difficult position right now, a little confused within their own selves, there's an ending, they don't want it to be over, um, in denial of that, and really learning that lesson of control and just pretty much feeling what the feminines had felt. All right, and we have the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Yeah, okay, so they're moving in a direction of really building on their sense of control and what it is that they can control, which is their own self, right? Being this King of Wands, overcoming obstacles, going after what it is that they want, being in charge of their own lives. I feel like it is, you know, it, it is a slow process here, but they are investing in that, like they are pouring energy into doing that. So that's what all of this is leading them towards. So, um, yeah, let's get a couple oral pull cards just to close out the reading and see any final messages that want to come through. If this resonated. And we have to the sea. All right, that is beautiful because that is um, saying that everything is flowing in the way that it needs to be, you know, just go along with what is being presented to you, you know, follow that, be open, go with the flow. And I feel like that is exactly what is happening for the masculines as well. They're going with the flow, even if they are in this now of this being over, that's actually part of the flow that they are in. So everything is exactly where it needs to be. Allow things to present themselves to you and just look at them, observe them, you know, from a place of curiosity. Like, why is this here? And just, you know, let things unfold. That's what this card is about. So we'll just get one last card. The final message for whoever this resonated for. And we have the super moon. Emotions are running high. Yeah, 
pretty much what I was saying with that King of Cups in reverse here. I feel like it's the same also for the for the masculines. All right, their emotions are running high at the moment because they can they're picking up on your energy being open to something else and they have that fear about that. So all right, guys, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.